this side, I'm assuming everybody's here for a vaccine. These Canadians are lining up for the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. While questions around who should be getting it still aren't settled, Danielle Kaplan is now worried about unconfirmed reports of blood clots. It just makes me feel a little insecure, and I would just like this clarified. This vaccine honestly can't catch a break. In Denmark, use of AstraZeneca's vaccine has been put on hold following reports of severe cases of blood clots in people who'd been vaccinated. Other countries have followed suit but insist the move is precautionary. Bad things happen to people who also happen to get vaccines. And so it doesn't mean that the vaccine caused it. And so that's what they have to investigate. The European Medicines Agency issued a statement saying there is currently no indication that vaccination has caused these conditions, adding the vaccine can continue to be administered. You have to view it in the context of the number of vaccinations that are ongoing and the frequency of these events in the usual population. As of March 10th, 30 cases of blood clots were reported, including three deaths. That's among 5 million people vaccinated with the AstraZeneca vaccine within the European Union. Experts say the benefits of this vaccine still clearly outweigh the risks. It's extremely unlikely that there's any kind of issue. And even if there were, the risk from coronavirus is far greater than any risk uh, related to uh, this kind of problem. I think it's more important to have the vaccine than not, but I just want to feel a little bit more confident. While there was talk of certain batches of the AstraZeneca vaccine being investigated in Europe, a company spokesperson says for the record, the doses currently being rolled out in Canada come from a completely different manufacturing plant. Christine Burak, CBC News, Toronto.